Hey folks, this is Burke, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the debugger in Visual Studio Code and how to configure it with a launch configuration. Now, I've got a piece of code here that's relatively complex. What it does is it calculates currency conversions from US dollars to euros and dollars to Japanese yen. But as new conversions are added, it also figures out the currency conversions between you know, related items. So if I know how to convert dollars to euros and dollars to yen, then I should know how to convert euros to yen. And the program does that for me. Um, but if I run this program, so we can do that just by doing node uh, currency.js, you'll see that there's an error. So you see this, all this error down here, even scrolling up, there's an error. And so we want to use the debugger to fix this. Now there's a couple different ways to get the debugger going in Visual Studio Code. Um, to get the debugger attached, I'm going to add a breakpoint here on line 39. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here to the run panel and press run and debug. And I'm going to select node from the dropdown menu. And just like that, the debugger is attached here. So you don't actually have to tell Visual Studio Code how to run your program. It already knows if it's simple enough and it uses whatever the current file is as the file that it actually runs. But if we were to keep doing this, we'd have to select node every time. And that's a little bit cumbersome. So from the run menu here, we can select this create a launch JSON file, which we'll click on and then select the node environment. And this creates the launch config here. Inside of this configuration, it tells the program uh, what type it is, node. It wants it to launch the program. It's got a few things here asking it to skip some files. This is the name that shows up here in the, in the picker. So if we said uh, change this to debug, you'll notice that it changes up here too. And then the program is which file, and it automatically picks the file that we were on when we created the debug configuration. Okay, so now that we've got this configuration, it will show up in a new folder called VS Code under this launch.json, right? So now that we've got that, let's go back and you can see our UIs kind of changed. We no longer have those buttons in that text. We just click the play button here and it will go ahead and run the program, although we didn't have anywhere to break. So let's add a breakpoint, run it again, and it now breaks on the breakpoint here. So that's how to get the debugger attached in Visual Studio Code. You can either do it by just running the current file, but usually you have to create a launch configuration, but your project's probably going to be a little more complex than just one file. In the next video, we're going to look at how to use breakpoints in Visual Studio Code to identify problems and step through them.